Stop. Hi there. Sorry, I know this was hard to watch, but we're professional actors, and what you just saw wasn't real. But unfortunately, it could be. First, let's kick off some stats. Nearly 400 children drown in the U.S. every year, but drowning is a worldwide problem. There are over 10 million pools in the U.S. alone. Drowning is responsible for the deaths of more young children than any other cause, even more than traffic accidents. Meet Life Buoy, the best pool alarm there is. Life Buoy is no simple pool alarm. It's the King Kong of alarms, an innovative, state-of-the-art technology flawlessly engineered to make you feel safe in all types of pools, in ground, above ground, covered, and uncovered. How does Life Buoy work, you ask? Installation's a bit tricky. Done. Life Buoy has a very powerful alarm. Is it loud enough? Life Buoy's alarm is so loud, it makes other noises like your food processor sound more attractive. Want to turn off the alarm? Just use the app. Standing is so 90s. But not to worry, Life Buoy is so smart that it automatically turns itself on when it senses lack of activity. Now you can relax and have a good time. But most importantly, you keep your family safe. It's not really my son. According to national statistics, drowning is the number one cause of death for a young child. Angel Alert has you covered. When the wrist or ankle bracelet comes into contact with water, the Angel Alert immediately tells you your child needs you. The Angel Alert is used anywhere and everywhere. Don't go through the agony of knowing that you could have prevented the unthinkable happening to your child. Get Angel Alert. Keeping a swimming pool both fun and safe for loved ones requires thinking ahead. A safety plan should involve active adult supervision and multiple layers of protection. Additional safeguards can now help to protect even when you're not right there. The new PoolSonic solar-powered wireless in-pool alarm provides an additional layer of defense. Sensing seismic waves, PoolSonics triggers an alarm at the pool and inside the home. PoolSonics is quick to install, powered by the sun, and simple to operate. With pool accidents, every second counts. Your family deserves the best protection and peace of mind. Fun and recreation for the whole family but it also requires responsibility, especially when it comes to safety. Extremely reliable, pool eye alarms have been protecting families for over 16 years. A fall into the pool creates an underwater disturbance that triggers the alarm. Because the detection mechanism operates under the water's surface, false alarms from wind, falling leaves, and rain are drastically reduced. The PE23 model is designed for both above-ground and in-ground pools. The PE23 is certified to the official safety standard for residential pool alarms. It also comes equipped with a remote alarm for inside the home. The PE12 model is designed specifically for above-ground pools, up to 24 feet round or 16 by 32 feet oval. The PE20 is designed for in-ground pools up to 18 by 36 feet and comes with all necessary hardware for deck or ladder mounting. Trusted for years with keeping families safe, Pool Light is a must-have for any pool owner with young children. In this video, uh, we will show you how to operate and install the Pool Guard model PGRM-SB above-ground pool alarm and spa alarm. This alarm is certified by NSF to the ASTM standard F2208. Uh, if you're not familiar with who NSF is, you can go to nsf.org. Uh, there's a tab there that says search certified products. Uh, you can hit that tab, type in pool guard, and it will bring up uh, both of our alarms. Um, uh, but in this video, we will show you how to operate the model PGRM-SB. Um, so let's go ahead and open the box and take out the contents. Uh, the first thing we have is the remote receiver. Uh, this 
goes inside your home. Uh, this alarm will sound in the home when the alarm sounds at the pool. Um, this is the power supply. This powers the remote receiver. So we'll just show you how to hook that up. Um, all you have to do is untwist the twist tie. And we'll go ahead and remove the red cone. Now here's the circuit board inside. And I'll go ahead and hook the battery up. Now after I hook the battery up, this alarm will sound. It will wake up and start going off and, and tell you everything's okay. Um, we're going to have to put the unit to sleep at that time. And to do that, we will need to hold this red reset key up to this area of the circuit board for about three to four seconds to put the unit to sleep. And I'll show you that right now. So we hook the battery up. Energizer. The alarm goes to sleep. Now the alarm is asleep and we can go ahead and put the unit back together. Now you want to make sure that you put the, the cone, the part, portion of the uh, buoy back on in the same uh, way that it came off, which means everything faces the tether string, um, just like that. So now that we have that back on there, we can just go ahead and reinsert these and just finger tighten them down. That way, it will not interfere with the uh, actual pool alarm. Uh, to do that, it's real simple. Uh, you want to turn your pump off first. It'll make it a lot easier. So uh, turn your pump off. Uh, a lot of people already have these pointing down, but if you don't have it pointing down, uh, make sure you turn your pump off. That way, the water can go ahead and start settling down before we get the alarm in there. Um, and with the pump off, just go over to your return line. You can just, just loosen that a little bit. This eyeball fitting will move around. Uh, get it to where it's pointing down, just turn it back, lock it, that's all there is to it. Uh, so now we can go ahead and I'll show you how to install the alarm in the pool. Uh, now what you want to make sure is that the alarm stays within five inches of the pool wall. Uh, and I'll show you how to do that, it's real simple. But um, this top rail is fairly wide, but if you have an above ground pool that has a, has a really wide top rail, uh, one thing you might want to do to be able to keep the alarm closer to the pool wall uh, it would be to put it on top of the uh, vertical end cap uh, because we all know the walls sink in and then they come out much farther here and, and the wall won't be back in there as far. So to let your alarm operate properly, uh, if you have a really wide top rail, uh, just use the vertical end cap as I've shown right here. But we're going to go ahead and show you how to install the tether clip. And it opens on one end and you want to put the opening away from the pool water. So we'll go ahead and take this off. And we will just uh, stick this right here to where that will hold the alarm in place. Give it a snug tug. And now it's set that way. And, and you can use that same knot every time you take it in and out of the pool. Uh, really simple. So now, if anybody would come over, a child or whatever, and remove the alarm out of the pool, uh, the unit will sound. And you would need your reset key to put it to sleep. Now, I will go ahead and show you a couple of functions how to put this in and out of the pool silently. Um, if you want to put it in the pool silently, you hold this up, the old red reset key, it will chirp, and it gives you uh, 10 seconds to set the alarm down in the pool. After 10 seconds, the alarm will chirp, and it will be guarding your pool. Now the alarm's guarding your pool. If you want to take the alarm out silently, you hold that the red reset key for about a second, and the unit will chirp. Now you have five seconds to lift the alarm out of the pool, and after five seconds, the alarm will chirp, and you can go ahead and take that out, and you can set the alarm on the wire stand. In the clip, after 10 seconds, the alarm will chirp, and now it's guarding your pool. So let's say you decide you want to go swimming, and so you want to take it out silently. So you hold the red reset key up there for about a second, and it chirps, but then you decide, I'm, I'm going to swim later. So after five uh, uh, the alarm will chirp, and it knows it's still in the pool, so it'll just go ahead and continue to guard your pool. <laughs>